If you're looking to edit videos and you haven't yet heard of or used CapCut, what are you waiting for? CapCut is constantly releasing the most incredible tools for absolutely free. The great thing is these tools are practical and actually useful to us editors. There's also a link in my description where you can activate a seven day free trial of CapCut Pro. Lastly, before we dive in, there's a promo code hidden somewhere in this video and I'm gonna rely on you to find it because that promo code gives you a free download of my media light package that can be found on my store. The link to my store is in the description. All right, without further ado, let's get into it. I'm on the desktop version of CapCut today and you can see we already created a project, we've imported our clips and we put them onto the timeline. The first feature is custom speed ramps. Now what's great about this is speed ramps are common in viral TikToks, Reels, YouTube Shorts and CapCut makes it so easy to do them. Go ahead and click one of your clips, go to speed and here you'll natively be on normal, switch over to curve and here we have some options to do different speed ramps. Now the graph demonstrates the motion, how it's gonna affect the motion of your video. In addition, sometimes it drops that motion below one times. This is another kind of cool feature about CapCut, but you can activate smooth slow-mo and change that to optical flow to get great looking slow-mo footage, even if your clip isn't shot in slow motion. There are so many guides on my channel if you wanna learn how to do cool viral speed ramps. Now there's also a customized one that adds some beats for you and allows you to manually change some of the motion within your clip. The second feature, which is arguably cooler than the first, is a custom thumbnail maker directly from the CapCut app. When you go to export your footage, in the top left here, go to cover. Now this is super hidden and I actually didn't know about this for the longest time. Over here, we can select a cover from the video or if you click new, it's gonna give you a ton of different templates that you can use to generate a YouTube thumbnail. What's even more amazing is the customization of this. If you go to upload, you can select a portion of the video. So let's say I found a frame that I really wanted to use, that's this. I could click save and then directly click on that photo and it's put an image, that image, that frame into our video. Now, if you go to templates, let's say I really like this template, all I need to do is click on it and it's gonna replace that image portion with me. And we can obviously fully customize the text, etc. If you wanna see a full guide on how to use this amazing thumbnail creator directly from CapCut, drop me a like and drop me a comment that you wanna see that. The third premium but free feature that I use on almost every video is an auto cut background remover. Now, Final Cut for my Final Cut editors doesn't actually have one just yet where you can take a video and cut out the background. Now I know DaVinci has it, DaVinci Resolve, but that's only in the studio version, which costs $300. CapCut has it for free. If I drag a duplicate video, I can click on the top layer, go to cut out and say auto cut out. That is gonna automatically trace the subject of the video out. If I disable this back layer, it has cut us out. What's great about this is now I can add a default text layer beneath. And what does it do? It places our text behind our subject. Now, if I go and play that, you can see that our subject is free to move and the text is behind, kind of like what you're seeing on screen right now. Our fourth amazing feature is a relight feature in CapCut. Now, once your clip is on the timeline, you can click on it, go to basic and scroll down to relight. Give me a couple seconds with this and I'll show you what you can do. Look at that. With a couple simple tricks by clicking the activate relight, going to ambient, clicking this blue light version and then creating two lights, one that's orange and one that's blue. I've been able to make this where it looks like I've got some studio lights. Now, if I zoom in, you can see before and after, I think using the relight feature is absolutely amazing. Again, in DaVinci, this is a paid feature and Final Cut, you don't even have this feature. Our fifth free feature is a vocal isolation tool that can take terrible sounding audio and actually make it sound great. You, I'm gonna play this clip for you and you'll be able to hear that there is wind in the background. Day where visibility is king, it is so important. Can you hear that fan rumble? If I go to audio, scroll down to vocal isolation, and select it as keep vocal, you'll hear now that when I play this clip, where visibility is king, it is so important, it is crucial. That rumble or wind noise is completely gone. I'm gonna show you another comparison that I did outside. All right, so this is an outdoor audio test. It's not too noisy even without the vocal isolation, uh, but yeah, there's some wind blowing and things banging around. I'm gonna switch it on now, and you can hear how it just cleans up all of the audio. I've used this with wind, uh, with cars, with uh, the cutest puppies in the world. And yeah, it really just does an incredible job. I'm shocked that it's free. What's this? What's this? Go get it. So cute, so cute. 
another quick side note, if you use this vocal isolation on a song, you can choose to keep only the vocals of the song or actually remove the vocals of a song. So you take your singer, you remove their vocals and you're just left with the beat. Our sixth effect is that CapCut has hundreds of free text templates for you to use. It is insane. Navigate to text and go down to text template. I kind of like this as a lower third, so I could click that plus to add it to my timeline, change the text to Matt Louie. And then by clicking this down arrow, I could also change the font. I think Visby looks nice. Let's make that bold. And then we can shrink that and add it to the bottom left corner. Let's see how that looks. And as you can see again, there are hundreds that you can use. What is amazing about CapCut's text templates is they're not like other software's text templates. These are text templates that you can actually use on social media, in your corporate videos, etc. Another thing that's cool within text is if you go to AI Generated, you can create your own custom textured text directly from CapCut. You can see that people have generated tons of different types of text with different, obviously, words and letters. I really like this one as well, is they wrote fire and use lava. Let's go quickly make one. I wrote Minecraft and used the prompt Minecraft and look at what it's created. That actually looks so insane. Now, if you just go apply, it'll bring it into your project. And let's go and expand that. It has used Minecraft blocks. What? That is so, so, so cool. Now, if I make that a compound clip, I get access to all the animations that you can use. The seventh one is also on text. There's just so many cool text effects. In our text layer, we have access to this animation tab. Now we have in, out, and loop. Let me just demonstrate one of the cool ones. I mean, how nifty is that? It is a simple pop-up animation, but what it's done is it's applied motion blur and smooth keyframing, so our text motion looks like something that you've created in After Effects, and we did it with a click of one button. In addition, all of our animations have the ability to drag our duration longer or shorter. So let's make that one second as opposed to 0.5, and you can see that that's really smoothened out our text. Another cool feature is if you go to Out, you can pair your in animation with an out animation that matches. So now we have our text come in in a smooth fashion and our text bounces out in a smooth fashion. The last thing I'll say about this is once you've applied your animation, go ahead and create a compound clip by clicking Alt G and it creates our text layer into a video layer where now you can add additional motion blur to even smoothen that motion out more and really, really create an After Effects looking motion with the click of a couple buttons and without having to do anything manually. The next best feature in CapCut is an auto reframing feature. Super crucial for all of us shooting horizontal and wanting to transform our videos into vertical. All you need to do is click on your clip, go to auto reframe, and you can see in our original ratio, we don't want to leave it as original, we want to take it from 16 by nine to nine by 16, which is vertical. It also gives you an icon preview of what that's gonna look like. So click nine by 16. It's gonna show us an outline of our box and we can click apply. You can now see that it's taken our horizontal video and made it vertical. The amazing thing about this is even if you have someone moving around in your frame, it'll automatically track your subject. Now you can see our project is still 16 by nine. So what I would need to do is go to my ratio and change that to nine by 16. Another amazing feature about this is your text will also be adapted to your frame. So we had that big text, Matt Louie, and you can see that it's fitting perfectly in the frame without any sort of tweaks. The ninth feature that I think really sets CapCut apart is custom LUTs, the fact that you can import them and use them. So all you need to do is go to adjustment. Here you get access to go import and you can select any LUT. So for this example, I'll use the Matt Louis LUT or so you can find that on my site. That is now imported into our LUT bay. Now when I go and click on my clip, I can go to adjustment and go and select the Matt Louis LUT right there which is super cool. This import will also carry across to every single other project, so you don't need to keep importing that LUT that you have. You can apply it to any project that you have. And now the last but arguably coolest and most incredible feature that made me fall in love with CapCut are the auto captions. With a click of a button, once your clip is on your timeline, go to captions, auto captions, make sure that your language is one of the few that are here, so I'm gonna select English and we can say generate. What this is gonna do is automatically create captions for us based off what we're saying. What you can do with these captions is now apply a template directly in one click, and that'll change your captions to any style that you want. And there's some really cool styles like Mr. Beast, Iman Gadzi, Alex Hormozzi, directly from CapCut. 
instead of applying our template afterwards, what we could do is go to captions templates, select any of the templates that we like, click on it and then say auto generate captions. And that'll generate those captions in the style that we selected in that template instead of again, us applying it afterwards. And finally, what I love is how customizable it is. So really with the click of a button, again, you can change the shadow, the glow, the font size, you could go to captions and split a line. So if I go there and click enter, now all of a sudden it's split that line into two. So the line isn't double layered. So there we go, everybody. There are 10 of the best CapCut features and effects that are absolutely free. Why I love them is because they feel premium. They should be premium. You should have to pay for them, but you don't have to pay. I hope you've been able to find that promo code somewhere throughout the video. Use that promo code on my website and you'll be able to download a paid video editing package for free. All right, guys. Really, really hope you had an incredible day and loved watching this video. I will see you in the next video. Cheers, everybody.